But now I need a new steward. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I did just lose, lose my steward because of that. But my son can take over. Congratulations, son. Um, have a look in these new lands. These are quite a nice. But maybe we'll be able to find something interesting here. They look they could be a good one. But yeah. Okay. Happy with how things are going so far. Like I say, it's just a bit slow at the moment because uh, we have to keep waiting for wars that we can do. 1,000 America. We're catching up then to Naga. Okay, they're giving us more soldiers. Excellent. Very good. But yeah, Nag is our biggest rival at the moment. And he's come to age. Let's see if people would help us kill him. Only 42%. That's not so good. Not so good. But he still has his ear chopped off. I'm not sure. Do Argonians have ears? I don't recall them really having ears. I, I guess. Like, how do you chop off an Argonian ear? Harun seems to be doing quite well. Uh, a Nord here. Regna the Skald. Okay, seems to be actually doing quite well there. Interesting. Uh, there's Cyrodiil. The Conqueror of Cyrodiil. So it looks like he's made a kingdom of Cyrodiil. I don't think that was there to begin with either. Ah, okay. Skingrad. 2,000 men. Actually, how many men does Nibane have? 2,000. Yeah, so once we get big enough... Nibane or Morrowind are going to be probably be our next targets. Morrowind might be a bit too difficult to hold. Yeah, 6,000 men. I would like to attack Morrowind at some point, but I feel like to begin with, maybe that would be too difficult. I'm not exactly sure. And they have 700 men, okay. But yeah, it might be difficult to take it and to hold it. So we might go this way first. I think maybe up to here, maybe take Nibane and all these lands, and then maybe we could take Morrowind. We'll have a look what happens, though. The gathering of like-minded war mages. Excellent. Fabulous. Whatever next. We get battle mage plus 30. Good, good, good. Okay. So we've got about 1,200 men. Uh, the king of Nibane, he has died. Is it Nibane? I, I really hate trying to pronounce these places. But a very young boy just inherited. Okay, excellent. King Brumanio. Okay, his regent... Is uh, Valentian. Okay. Interesting. Good for them. How many men did these guys have? Yes, yeah, so 1,300. He's getting more and more men. A rumor about a spy sneaking around in my castle was confirmed this morning. I caught him red handed. Okay, behead him. I'm not concerned. Well, I am reckless and just, yeah. Behead him. I have to deal, I have to deal with these people, you know? That's the law. That is the law. And I've got a bit there, ruthless. That, that fits me then. I, I'd say my guy's a bit ruthless maybe, but he's just. He's just in the way he does things. Now, we've actually almost got to the point where I could declare war on these guys again. So let's see what month it is. The 12th. Okay, so the very end of next year. Okay, so we've still got a year and a few, couple of months left. Till we can attack them. But that's come around very quickly. But I think this time then... Because we'll take this one, we'll take Soul Rest. We'll then be next to River Keeps. And we can attack these guys next as well. So that'd be good. It gives us another person to attack. Then when we take this, we can attack Black Marsh. We could also attack these guys. He has allies. Okay. How many men does he have? 800 men. Yes, yeah, so we could attack these lands as well. Terrain is Black Marsh. Is that part of our de jure kingdom? It is. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not part of our de jure kingdom. It's part of Cyrodiil. Or Cyrodiil. Okay, so that's not really part of our lands. But we'll take it anyway. I could always take those lands. Now, these guys have our lands. You can see here, Hiss there. A respected clansman in your realm has spoken openly of his loyalty to you. Well, thank you. My vassal just became my friend. Tribesman disgruntled. Okay, that's good to see. So he was the guy who was my spy master before. Good to know he's on our side. What about these guys? Okay, he controls that as well. Inquisition. Okay, so you can declare Inquisition. Yeah, you can do it against... Uh, basically, it's a holy war. But nearby, seven div eight divine rulers can help him. So that would probably be a bad idea, because then uh, Nibane would probably join... But then again, if, if they were weak, that might be a good idea. 
Okay, we'll wait and see. We're not next to them yet. I don't know. I'm assuming we can't do the Conquest CB against them. I think it's only against people of your kind or something. We'll have to wait and see, like I said before. Um, but we've almost got to that point now, and we can attack Patru once more. Again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, nothing but failure. God damn it, he just lost his men. But we're not doing... We got like a 1,300 almost. They have 560. That's good then. So we'll attack them as soon as we can. These guys have 1,400. God damn. Wumik the Young. No one's attacking Naga. I need someone else to come attack us with Naga. So let's, let's, let's um, you know what? Let's um, try out our hypothesis. One second. Um, throughout the day, you caught yourself grinding your teeth. Ah, I get him to be less slothful. So do I get him to do it? Yeah, I'm a reckless. I'll get him to be less slothful when I'm around. But yeah, we're going to test our thing, actually, our hypothesis, that if you have a claim, then they're more likely your allies will help. Also, your allies can actually help. I'm going to send them to fabricate a claim. So go to here, fabricate a claim on this land, and we'll see if our allies will join us in that war. That would be the plan. But yeah, just, oh, we can now declare war. Excellent. So let's go. Um, I think soul rest. Because taking that one won't help. Taking this one won't help. Yeah, we can just attack that one. And this is probably the best piece of land. Look at some castles. Yeah. It seems like the ones on the shore are the best places. There we go. Soul rest will be mine. We'll attack as usual. Okay, very good. We can call on our allies, of course. But we can't actually call on our allies. So there we go. Okay, get the men ready. We ride. We ride. For the Black Marshes. Okay, so they've got a lot of men coming over here. So how about we delete these ones? It was just tempting them to come over. How about you stay there? Has come to My last son has come to a uh, legal age. He's a very good learner. Look at that. Uh, he's shy, though. He's just... He is deceitful. He is charitable, kind, and patient. Okay. So actually, my, all my sons kind of turned out a little bit different, which is kind of nice. Um, refugees and homeless people have been displaced by war. Damn. They're going to keep coming towards us, which is annoying because there's a river here. So I didn't really want them to come this way. But they only have 500 men, so we should be okay. Okay, now they've changed their mind. Perfect. So now we've got all these men coming. They've changed their mind. They're going to ride north. The 23rd. Okay. 24 rings hand. 28. Ooh, okay, so that's a problem there. So they're going to manage to get away. But can they get away then after? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. More of our men are going. You go that way. Go that way. Okay, so they're now there. Go this way. Uh, 28 seconds, son. 11 mid-year. So we will get there before they escape, but this time again we're going to be crossing a river, so it does seem kind of silly. Um, we have about, you know what, we probably have enough men here to defend Shade Marsh. Or do we just cross the river? You know what, I'm going to stay here. I think we have enough men to defend this. If they come to attack us here, they'll be going across a river. So we might be able to make it. Actually, there's no river there, but he'll attack us into the marsh. So that'll be good as well. 11 mid-year. Okay, they'll get there first. Okay, yep. Yeah, or most these two at least will get there first. Um hmm. Go this way. Okay. So that might be a bad idea. We'll have to wait and see. War chief there, my son, of course. Of course my son would be my new war chief. Um how about you train the troops? Go to Black Rose. Excellent. Okay, there's a 290, that's about 300, about um, 450, 450 men, then these 142 will get there. Ooh, and a third mid-year. You know, how about you go this way then? 13 mid-year, yeah, I'll get there two days after, okay, that'll be good then, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think we'll be fine if we do it this way, maybe just. Okay, so they've been attacked, but these guys should get there. Not too long. Alcan, they're going to take it ages to get there, aren't they? These guys will get there on the 7th. Okay, but we do have the advantage. Hopefully these guys can just get them in time. Maybe I just made a big mistake there. But it looks like our men are doing quite well. And now with the more men, 
We should be okay. There we go. Destroyed. Okay, let's head back down to soul rest then. Perfect. Very good job, men. I did not think you were going to do that. I was very worried just then. My liege, while reading through some old dusty tomes, I discovered in Black Rose I came across a wealth of forgotten lore on the subject of war and magic. Very good. Thank you. My dear friend, I fear the war might drag on. Okay. So, what? Um, please accept my help. Uh, okay, I thought you already were in the war. <laughs> You're my vassal. Should you, shouldn't you be in the war anyway? We lost like a hundred men there. Maybe more, actually, but it would probably be worth it. Let's just go chase them down. Send so these guys to take soul rest, and that should be the end of that war. Then soon we'll be able to attack these guys as well. So, this is going to go quite well for us. And we can always attack these guys as well, so that's not too bad. Has spoken of his loyalty to me. Excellent. What are these guys doing? Of Merc Wood. Ex excellent. So they're attacking... Okay, they're attacking these guys. That's what I want. I want them to lose some troops. Now, hopefully, he makes some bad decisions. But these guys will be pretty weak. Yeah, they only injured 300 men. So that's kind of bad. Um, we can do up some of our soldier stuff. Now, what type of soldiers do we have? Can I see? How can I see again? I always forget. I know you can see what type of men you have. Ah, here we go. Um, we have quite a lot of light infantry, a lot of archers, and a lot of heavy, a lot of heavy infantry. So let's go for heavy infantry then. We'll do that. Perfect. But that's good. Then we actually see N Naga actually attack someone for the first time. It's kind of nice to see some of the AIs actually go to war with each other. I guess none of the uh, current leaders are good enough maybe to attack each other. There's also this piece of land here which I've not been keeping an eye on. I guess, yep, they're a merchant republic. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, what the hell is going on? Sorry, one second. I have to go do something. One second. Hey guys, sorry about that. There will be a cut during this video. Um, I just had to go do something. I think my dog was just sick, so I had to go clean up and stuff. Wasn't fun, but yeah. Um, apparently the game played a bit when I wasn't looking. I do apologize. But apparently they just surveyed some stuff in Lil Moth. I'm sure I turned it off. Okay. Um, obtain an artifact. Excellent. So we got an artifact. Okay, very good. We also captured a load of places. So there we go. Let's declare war. I'm sorry, declare peace. There we go, and done. So now we basically have the whole southern coast of Argonia, which is awesome. Good to see that. And it looks as if the war is now known as the Killer. Ooh. High Chief Detum Jar the Killer. <laughs> and I have a Skull Crusher. Look at that. The Skull Crusher is an amazingly large and powerful weapon. The Warhammer was created in a fire magically fueled by the wizard Dorak Gazal and was forged by the great weaponsmith Hilbongard Rolamas. Awesome. Okay. So that's gave us like 25 marshal. So our guy's becoming a pretty great guy, I would say. Excellent. I think we might have lost a year there. <laughs> or at least a few months, I think. I do apologize for that. Now we've got to delete all our soldiers. Now, how many men have the Nagas lost? One, he's got 1,500. Oh my god. Wow, okay, and he's also got his vassals because he's tribal. Yeah, we definitely have to keep an eye on Naga. They're definitely something, uh, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm very, very worried about them at the moment. But yeah, damn, we can only get like 1,300, uh, 1,300. I guess now, I guess we get almost 1,500, but he can get like 2,000. That is crazy. This is definitely not over yet. We still have some big enemies to deal with. Now, how long until our treaty? 38. 98, sorry. So just two more years, and we can declare war on them. But we can now declare war on these guys. Yes, River Keep. I think that will be good. Does he have any allies? He does have three allies. Um, High Chief of Sapa. Naga. Oh, the son-in-laws. Ooh. So that means his daughter must be married. Yeah, of Sarpa. So Sarpa he's married to, and so is Naga. Okay, so that's not good. Okay, he's got some good alliances there. Damn it. But if you attack them, like I say, when I attack him, I cannot call in my allies. So does that mean if I attack 
if if I attack him, he can't call in his allies because I can't call in mine. But can he call in his? That's kind of the question I have right now. Um, Warlord, yeah. Someone told me if we go for Warlord, we can go for some extra stuff, but I, I feel like it's best not to for now. We don't really need to. I mean, for twenty, I guess we might as well. All the others we don't need. Let's go for Warlord. Uh, none beneath their booted heel. Excellent. So there we go. We've now got the uh, Warlord ambition. Here we go. Warlord, conquer, soul rest. So we can try and take like whole pieces of land now. That's kind of nice. So if we declare war on him, what could we take? Okay, we could take all of that or just Merc... Yeah, so he's going to lose Merkwood to Naga. So we could take all three of these next time. Awesome. Okay, what does it say about it? What Are there any details I need to know? If we win the war, um, he loses... What, is that me? Huh. If we win the war, I lose 200 prestige. Okay, I think... Oh, we've just got the similar name. Yeah, we just have a similar name, that's it. Okay. <laughs> or maybe it's the same name, I can't really tell. But yeah. Okay, so I get all that stuff. But they, I become the liege. It's not like I take the land, it's, they become my vassal. Ah, okay, interesting. That's a little bit different. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just worried about Niagara at the moment. Maybe we got a lot of gold, though, so I guess I could call in some mercies. I'm thinking that we should attack them. Yeah, here's his chiefs behind us. So it's like 2,000 men. I can get 1,300. How many mercies can we get? Um, 90, 1,000. So yeah, we could probably equal him. So I'm going to wait until the war is over. And I think then we might attack him. I feel like we need to attack him before he gets too big. But then again, he could call in his allies as well. Yeah, looks like those guys... Yeah. Or maybe he would not join because he's already in his own war. It's hard to say. Look, there we go. They've taken Merkwood. Okay, this is not... Well, it's like Merkwood, not a... Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be a bit... This is a bit, this is a bit interesting. I'm trying to wonder now how we're going to deal with Naga. Because Naga is definitely something we have to deal with. Because they have quite a lot of men. Now, physically, he's not that strong. But he's got a personal combat skill of 7. Wow, even though he's weak. I have 16, though. Okay. I do have 16. I am two over on the uh, domain side, so I'm going to have to give away some land. Now, I think we should give the tribe here. We'll give that tribe, Merhol. We'll give it to my lowest son, my last son. Here you go, son. And we'll give the other one to my other son. Now, which one should we give my second son? Should we give him uh, Soul Rest or should we give him Lulmoth? Now, I'm thinking Soul Rest at the moment. 314 men defend. Okay. So it's about the same as Lil Moff, it looks like. That's two. Yeah. Okay, we're going we're to keep this one then because it has more kind of castles underneath it. This one has less. Okay, so we'll give Soul Rest to my second son. Okay, uh, Soul Rest. There you go, son. You have a nice title right now. I should probably look through my uh, council, make sure they're all good enough. I've seen some bad news this morning. My prisoner, Nakuma, escaped from her cell in the night. Damn her. Damn her indeed. What other prisoners do we have then? Let's have a look here. We have this person, Bajin, the wife of uh, the Lord of Patru. Okay, what can we do with you then? What can we do with you? Execute them? Change prison? Okay, we should just... Uh, Ransom, I guess. 46 gold. Um, why would he not do it for this? He cannot afford 46 gold for his own son, it looks like. Yet we have his son as well. Okay, interesting. We're going to keep. We're gonna ransom them then, yeah. So those two. Medish is the son. So we have two of his sons and his wife. Okay, we'll try and ransom them, I think, at some point. But yeah, very good. That was on domain size is good then. Very good. And then also we should probably check the council, because my son's now could probably join the council. I know one would be a better his speaker. There we go. My son there. Perfect. Uh, consult Grimoires. Okay. Yeah, go go um, go consult your Grimoires. Go over there. Shadow scale. Now this person's much better. 17. Look at that. Okay, how about we get you to do something? Scheme, I guess. Would anyone want to help us kill him? 60%. Oh, just a bit too much. How about him? If we could kill him, we could end their alliance. 
39% damn actually what can what combines I guess it's his wife then Does his wife also connect to the alliance or how is he connected to the alliance it was a son-in-law wasn't it uh Tanan's son-in-law okay so his daughter is married to them yes so if we kill the daughter yes if we kill the daughter we break their alliance 56% damn it we won't be able to kill her I don't think